Today I'd like to review with you a few things that you need to do when using Google Docs. The first thing is you must title the document and it's very easy to do so. You just click where it says untitled document, type in your name at all times, and also type the name of the assignment. So for this one, I'm going to call it open ended response. And my example one is on the outsiders, um, the question that we once did on characterizing Johnny. So I'm going to say characterizing Johnny. Okay. And click OK. And now you have a title. The second thing I want you to use at all times when using Google Docs is MLA format. And one of the features of MLA format is um, that it has to be double spaced. So it, even if you didn't start out by double spacing when you typed into Google Docs, you can set it to double spaced after you've typed it. Just highlight the text and go to format line spacing and click on two. Now you have it double spaced. The second thing that you must do is keep either keep or change your font to Arial or Times New Roman. But those are your only options, Arial or Times New Roman. Suppose you want to use Times New Roman. Just select that and keep it in 12 point. So your responses, no matter what, must be either Times New Roman or Arial in 12 point. Okay, now for sharing, this is also a review for you. Just go to share and type in the name of your partner. Suppose that I am my own partner. Here's my other Google account that I'm going to share with so that I can show you how to share and then what I want you to do with your document once you're done today. And click share and that's that. Okay, and it shows you who has access. Make sure that when you share with your partner that it says can edit. This allows your partner to insert comments and um, make some changes if you allow them to. And click done. Now I'm going to sign out of my account and sign into my other account so that you can see what I want you to do once your partner shares their open-ended response with you tonight. The way to find your partner's document is by clicking shared with me. So here is the one that my I sent to myself to show you how this works. So you click on the one that your partner shared with you and tonight what you're commenting on is their use of transitions. If you find any place where they can use an additional transition to help make their explanation flow better or to introduce a new idea in a better way, um, what I'd like you to do is put your cursor where you think they need to add the transition. So for my example here, um, I want to tell them at this point, you can use the transition also because you're telling a new idea um, that you learned. So you're introducing a new one. So I'm going to say also, it's an additional one. So I could say an additional also, but I'm going to tell them through the comment function. So I go to insert and then comment and tell my partner, Jane, I think you should add the transition, oops, transition also. This would help introduce another idea. And then I click comment and Jane Doe should be able to see my comment. I also think that at this point you might use the transition
for instance. to introduce an example. So now that I've made my comments, my partner would be able to see those. So let's say you want to see those comments. So I'll go back in as my in my other account so that you could see what happens when your partner when your partner um, makes a comment what you can do to respond to that comment so I go back to my drive to find my open-ended response and see if my partner said anything about um, my transitions so uh, after opening my account I see that my partner did comment so I will Think about what they said and say, you know what, you're right, I should use also. So I'm going to say, I agree, thanks for the comment. So since I agreed and she said that I should use also, I'm going to revise here by just typing in also, lowercasing that. And now I've done what my partner said to do. And here, I also agree with her. She says that you can say for instance. So I'll say for instance. That is a good idea. I'm going to say you're right. For instance is a good transition. I usually use for example, but this is a good alternative and click reply you don't always have to reply but you do have to read their comments and revise accordingly and that's all you have to do just make sure that you share with your partner you comment on theirs and you respond to their comments on your document as well if you have any questions don't forget you can email through google docs or you can just call or text um, good luck.